Hey there, Andrew here, welcoming you to another episode of Research and Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to set a scanning range on the SDS100. All right, got the scanner all powered up. Now let me show you how to set that scanning range. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is press the menu button. It is the lower button on the side. Then you want to scroll down to search for. Then with the button on the top, click to select. Next, scroll to edit custom. And once again, click to select. Next, scroll to the custom search location that you want to use and click select again. I'm going to use custom location one and click select. On the top of the list is edit name. If you click select again, that gives you the option of customizing that name. What I'm going to do is scroll over. You scroll left or right with these function keys. So I'm going to scroll over. I'm going to leave the name mostly intact. I'm going to just change it to custom one test. You scroll or excuse me, turn the knob to the left or right to change the letters. And we're just going to do T, click E, S, and then T. and then click and that changes the name as you can see up along the top to custom one test now scroll down to edit search limit and hit select and now you can enter manually via the keyboard the um, lower limit of your search so we're going to enter one four o point o i'm going to hit select and then we do our upper limit which is going to be one five o point o and we'll make these all o's there and Hit select. Now press the menu button on the side. Press menu again. Scroll to set search key and click select. Go ahead and select search key one. And you're going to scroll up to the range that you just created, custom one test, and click select. Press menu, press menu again, and press menu again. Now to scan the range that you just selected, go ahead and hit the channel lock on any channel that is not currently broadcasting. Press the function key, which is the uh, upper key on the side, and then immediately press one. And as you can see now, it is scanning the range that you had uh, programmed in. Now you can see that it locked in on a uh, frequency that has a little bit of noise. If you want to run by that or just pass it, just click, just rotate the knob on the top and it continues the scanning process. To go back to standard scan mode, just hit the to scan function key and you're back into normal scan mode. So that was a very quick tutorial on how to set a scan range on the SDS-100. You may have noticed that there were several options on which location you wanted to put your specific scan range in. You had options from 0 to 9, and you can put a separate scan range in each one of those. That way you don't have to reprogram your, your range every time you want to, want to switch to another range to, uh, to be scanning. 
At any rate, those are the basics. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, be sure to let me know. That's all for now.